September 7, 2010. It's thundering. It's been sprinkling. Man, I hope it rains. I just plowed my plowed a couple strips out there in the field. My plow's messed up. I got trouble with it. And the ground's harder than rock. So maybe we get a little bit of rain here in a minute. I'll walk out there. Just a bit here. I'll walk out there and see if we can find some airheads. Well, it's done raining now. The deck's a little wet. But the garden's still drier in Saudi Arabia, so it didn't amount to jack squat. One smoking guns, thanks for the rain. But you missed me. You went too far to the north, man. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a bunch of rain just about 10 miles north of me. It just got a little bit here, so I'm going to walk out here in my field and do some plowing while I go. Mess around and I cut the grass a little bit back here in the hayfield with the sickle bar. Do some metal detecting too, so I can see what's going on. Here's what I got plowed up. My plow's, uh, it's screwed up. There's no cutters on it. And the ground's harder than a damn rock. They don't want to plow right. So I may have to come back and hit it again when it wettens up a little bit. I just kind of experimenting with it. But then lift arm thing on my plow broke off. So I had to quit anyway. And it started raining. And so anyway, crappy looking plow job. Not real deep. So looks like I just skinned the sod off. But I've seen some big rocks and stuff down here at the bottom of the hill down by the spring. I'm going to walk down here and check him out. Some places that old plow dug right in, man, just pulled the dirt right up. Some places it just scratched the surface. So, I don't know. I don't know about plowing up and down these hills. This ain't real steep here, but that in there is pretty steep. I was coming up here a while ago, and uh, I don't know what the hell happened. I must have hit something with the front wheels or the plow dug in or whatever. And I was looking all around doing everything else, 57 things going on. and. All I seen was the clouds, the front end was sticking straight up near and I about flipped over, so anyway, that kind of scared me. So after a brush with death, I quit plowing up here, but I might come back and hit her again, but down there, I've showed you guys before, that's where I found that scraper down there. There used to be a spring, I guess, right in here somewhere. And the ground's real black, like right here. Unless somebody had burnt something here years ago, I don't know. But I kind of wanted to plow this little area anyway, hoping to find something, maybe they... Maybe they came down here and washed their tools or something. Nice place they came to or something. It's supposed to be a camp across the road from me one time, so I don't know. A lot of rocks in here. Plow that thing up one of these days here. Never get my plow back out. Hopefully we get some rain here soon. Ground get a little wet, so. It's kind of strange that dirt there's black. And it gets back brown again. So you come down here, it's Black down there too, brown right there. Of course, we got every, I got every soil type in North America right here, just in this, in this field. So, who knows? Well, in the Arrowhead Department, I found Jack Squat. Even offered some tobacco to the land or the spirits or whoever. Maybe we get some rain. Plus, I got more acres to plow. But anyway, I'm gonna try to metal detect this hill right here. This is where I found that. Right down there is where I found that bullet yesterday in that corner of the field. And uh, I ran the sickle bar over this earlier today. Cut some of the stubble down like uh, Dick Norway was talking about last night in his video about uh, stubble in the fields. So uh, it is hard to swing. So I, I cut, but I forgot a patch there in the middle. I forgot to mow on that hill there. Got to looking at something else and went over the other side of the field and did something, forgot to come back. So anyway, this is where I find most of my metal signals targets and stuff on this hill here so I'm gonna give it another try here okay I'm shaking I just seen a I, shit I think I just scratched a coin but I seen a piece of dirt come out shaped like a coin green shit I lost it there it is Indian head penny son of a beach I'll be damned <laughs> awesome damn Look at the patina on that sucker. Woo! <laughs> damn it. Sorry, guys. It's been a long damn time finding something good. I didn't, you know, I wasn't really looking for coins. I mean, I didn't, never imagined out here in my field. Sweet. <laughs> I get this sucker cleaned up here. I'll see what the date is. 
1903. I never scratched it either. <laughs> That's the second Indian hand I found on my property. I found an 1890 last year when I first uh, got started detecting. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Took a uh, thing back down there and see if there's anything else in the hole. All right, I'm back. I had to take about a <laughs> about a 15 minute break. I was too wound up. There's where I found it. Right over where you see that corn husk. Just a little bit this way is where I found that bullet yesterday. And I was just wondering then. I'm going to try to grid this off today, this hill. Right. Kind of right there where these trees are right here. That used to be a house right there at one time. And there was there's still some concrete steps in there. And uh, where my barn is there used to be an old chicken house. So I guess this was the backyard. Because my property, kind of here on my, my, this ridge right here used to be divided. It was two properties. I mean, it's, it's been one property, two properties, three properties, and several properties over the years, but this is probably the backyard of this, this old place, so I'm going to I'm gonna work this whole hill out right here. I already did my grapes and stuff. My raspberries over, they kind of look like crap. I need to mow and weed eat around them, but anyway, I did that before in an earlier vid, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hunt this. You need to, I had to get my army shovel, my German army shovel out, field hunting, just uh need a shovel so I'm gonna get back to it all right guys I think I'm done for the day had enough excitement for the day so hunted up there one up this hill one way and then back down along his fence row one way and that Indian head just came from about right here so or right up there and that bullet yesterday was right here somewhere I think right there but uh anyway I'm done for the day this hill will be, this place will be here all winter so and I'll near next year, so I'll come back out here probably sometime this week. I'm gonna wash that penny up and show you guys what I got. All right, guys, I got my penny here washed up. This camera doesn't show things real good up close, so anyway, I brought it out here in the sunshine. I didn't do a very good job washing it. I thought I did. I couldn't really see in the kitchen. It's dark in there. Anyway, here it is. It's uh, you guys probably can't see it, but uh, looks like it's got pretty good detail on it, and uh, back's in good shape. There's no mint mark that I don't see. I guess the mint mark was down here under the ribbon. I guess. Anyway, it's cool find right over there. Dead to my garden, I found in 1890 last year, so that's too off of my property. So I know you guys, a lot of you guys find these all the time, but for me, it's exciting. It's got a nice green patina on it, and uh, digging Norway, I'm not using any rattlesnake or Jack and Coke or uh, lemon juice on this one, so <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting and everything else.